Hi and welcome to my new video. This time I would like to show you a new feature which is implement which was implemented in the most recent Apache Spark release, which is the 3.1, about a type hints in PySpark. So to illustrate that I will write a quite simple code and I hope that thanks to this live coding experience you will see how the type hints can change your life. So at least to make your programmer's life easier. So to start, I would like to define a class that I will use in the test. So it will be a user. And now I will start by doing the first mistake on quite obvious operation, but we can suppose that it will be that, that we can, of course, make it in some compli much more complicated stuff. But anyway, I will try to define a Spark session and set an uh, invalid master. So we can say that I'm doing something very inconsistent because as you can see, master autocomplete works correctly, but master can be literally anything. There is no information on the type of the, of, there is no information of the type expected by this master method. So an unconscious user could, for example, for example, put a, a class or a row like like in my case so i will do that and later you can see also get or create so what happens here is it's correct apparently from 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 the pycharm perspective but you will see later that it's not fine at all so this time i will some and we will simply take some code i created before and and show the the data frame so as you can see already the first thing happened the function has no attribute create data frame and it's quite logical because here we simply retrieved we simply consider that spark session on the left is a get or create function in other words, we would we would we try to do something like like that. So of course we have to first call this method so that it can return a Spark session, and only later we can create a data frame and also call call the show method. So what's wrong this time? And this time, as you can see, we have the error saying that the master is not valid so i will fix it and let's see whether it's fine this time or not not really because as you can see we wanted to print the users on the console but unfortunately this time too we only referenced the the function so i will just fix it and you should see that it will work fine, at least. Uh, it, at least it will print the the users on on the screen. And now I will try to do the same, but this time with PySpark 3.1, which has the support for type hints. So I do the same operation. So I create the user, and and now I will create the Spark session. So. Spark session dot builder dot master and here if I use a user class we should see that PyCharm already warns me that uh, this is not the expected type so as i ex uh, how does it work as i explained in the article which is linked in the description of this video every pike a file has a, a, a corresponding this kind of description file with the types definition so if you check the master so we are in session pi 
and if we check the master in this py i file you can see that the expected type is a string and that's how pycharm so any other uh, smart and id knows that we are going to make a mistake by putting a, a user here so i can detect this problem uh, very early in the development process so now i will take the same users and you can see already that when i try some autocomplete i have much more information that than in pyspark 3.0 so just to compare i will try to do the same here so if you if you do the show you can see that the autocomplete is almost is empty so we don't know whether there are two three ten or less parameters whereas if you do the same but in, in pyspark 3.1 you can see that we have n which obviously it's not a very good name but we could in, we could uh, deduce that it's something that represents a number obviously the number uh, of the users to of the rows to show on the screen and also truncate which means whether we want to truncate too long rows or not and vertical which is something new for me vertical which means that okay we want to print our rows vertically so maybe i will just maybe add something and check and to check the the vertical attribute so that we can learn not only about the pi, uh, type hints but also about this uh, this new new for me a uh, parameter so i will don't truncate and i will also set it as vertical so as you can see already i didn't make a mistake by by omitting something in the show method like i did previously in pyspark 3.0 so globally we could we could say that the development process uh, sh should be s smoother more smooth uh, with pyspark 3.1 thanks to these type hints where you can feel a bit like you would work with uh, strongly typed languages like like scala even though of course it doesn't enforce you to to do the mistakes and for example use our our user here so if you ignore this this warning the code you can still run the code there is no compiler that will check for this type consistency and we will end up with the same error so yes type hints help a lot in the development process but they won't prevent you against making some type typing mistakes that may not be detected properly for example if you use some custom uh, custom functions with uh, without a uh, python hints so type uh, and type hints are one of many features added in apache spark 3.1 uh, improving the developer experience another one is for example the way improved documentation and if you want to discover them i invite you to the article which is linked in the description of this video it was bartosz koniecznym from thanks for watching